right, well, what's up, my friends? Welcome to 10 New Brews. Oh, Lost it. Caverns oh, of God. Ixalan is almost here. I'm in the early access event on, uh, on Magic Arena. Again, big thanks to Magic Arena and WotC for uh, for doing this early access event. Freaking love doing this event. We'll be playing with a bunch of the content creators. And we're a few days early, of course. Cards aren't out just yet. And as always, I have built 10 new decks in standard to play with all the new cards. It'll be a lot of fun. Real fast, we take a peek at those. We got Clifford, the Blue and Red Pearl, Jurassic Park, Send the Farm, Angel in the Machine, First Rule, Finding Gumdrops, Cascading Caves, Elephant Daycare, and to Boldly Go. I'll be playing all of these decks right here, right now, on stream, of course. And if you're watching on YouTube, well, they'll all be up on YouTube, of course. Uh, you know, one a day over the next uh, 10 days. And our first deck here is built around a returning mechanic. Of course, Ixalan was a set, you know, five years ago at this point, six years ago explore and explore is a pretty good mechanic right uh, did very, very well very well in standard back when it was first legal explore means to basically reveal the top card of your library it's a land you draw it otherwise you can bin it or leave it there and put a counter on the thing that explores we have uh since someone posted a, pr a pronunciation guide and uh i'm a jackass and didn't look at it uh i kind of like glanced at it but didn't like look at it closely and i probably should have my set review was uh, kind of gross check out the set review on youtube of course also youtube folks like comment subscribe uh C Cinote, I think it's Cinote, right? Yeah, Cinote Scout, uh, one more for one, it, it, it'd be Explorers. So it's important to note that Explorer is obviously just like a good mechanic, right? You get to get a, a, a good sized creature or a land, but it does two other things for synergy as well. It puts puzzle puzzle counters on things, and then it also puts cards into your graveyard. And what card wants that? Uh, Agatha Soul Cauldron. So you have a pretty cool looking Explorer Gruel deck here, uh, which is based around uh, Agatha Soul Cauldron, Plus the most one counters kind of going everywhere. We have Ozolith to double, to double up on these counters. Uh, and then we have the Cauldron, which combos with the Voldaren Thrill Seeker. So if you can get a Thrill Seeker under this Cauldron, now you can fling all your stuff with counters on it, which is super awesome. And there's enough artifact stuff happening. We can do uh, we can do Teething Wormlet, which is great too. We've got the new Sentinel of the Nameless City. Uh, one of the better cards of a new set. 3-4, makes an artifact every turn. Gets a lot of Explorers on, kind of cool. We got our new map tokens here, which are kind of like, you know, clues or bloods, but they explore. And a lot of cool things happening here. So, kind of a cool uh, synergy-based beatdown deck. Uh, is it going to work? I don't know. These are freaking doing 10 new brews. I don't know what's going to happen, all right? So, let's, uh, let's get right at the games. Brought to you by our sponsors, CoolStuffInc.com. Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. Let's rock and roll. So once again, we're playing against a whole bunch of different content creators uh, on the early access event. We're we'll playing uh, best of one, play five games to each deck. Uh, these are all decks that I just built. I never played a game with any of them, obviously, because the, the set literally came out like an hour ago. So uh, chat coming out with me. I mean, got Kamano, Beast Caller, Kodama, Sentinel. Pretty good hand here, honestly. You can keep this one. Got this cool new background and cool things to click. It's a little, it's a little mushrooms. What's got here? It's a little water. This is more of an aesthetic background than a. Uh, a useful one, so fire the Kimono and let's rock and roll. Of course, Kimono won't get counters itself, but we'll, we'll give counters to things. And we got S. Yes, everyone's doing the dinosaur thing. I feel like you know, d dinosaurs are the level zero for, for Ixalan. Everyone wants to try dinosaurs out, so we're gonna hold off on our dinosaurs for a little bit. But here we got Lore Keeper, which is a bird's paradise for dinosaurs, and uh, we're shooting a beast caller. That's actually pretty good to get the beast caller, put a counter on it from the Kimono. Let's take go. And then uh, we got Kadama. You can maybe get some some cast and attack on. Get some trample and some modified stuff. Turn to Scythe, Scythe Claw Raptor. So, Kamano flips. We have a 8-2-2. Now, I could, could just Kadama here, which would pump the Beast Crawler attack. Uh, actually, they would trade. And then I would get a land. And then I would move a counter onto the... Two counters onto the etching. That's pretty good if they, if they block. Let's do that. Let's go land. Kadama. Kind of a cool card that's never really found a home, honestly. Uh, all your modified creatures get trample, and your modified things get lands. So, we have to attack with our 4-4. Four, four. And again, even if they block here, we still get our land. I'm not going to block. Cool. So, we go do this thing. Go get a land. I don't have, like, a ton of use for a million lands. But, you know, it's uh, obviously good to thin the deck out, so on and so forth. And the more mana we have, the more we can uh, use our, our map tokens. So, we've got our Scout and our Beast Caller up. Next, we can go Beast Caller and Scout. 
or Beast Call or a Sentinel if you draw land. Kind of keep pumping things up. And of course, uh, the modified trample is pretty important because that can get really, really big with our Ozzelots and stuff. So we got Scythe Claw Raptor here, new card, 4 3 dinosaur. Whenever a player casts a spell, if it's not their turn, take, they take four. Four's a lot. So they go against, you know, Wandering Emperor and counter spells and stuff. No blocks for us. And we're going to see a Monstrous Rage. Damn. You're a monster! Alright, and then they're gonna exile these lore people again. Sure. So they have this 5 4 thing. We draw a soul cauldron. Now, nothing in the graveyard yet, but again, these explore effects will help us find stuff in the graveyard too. So we're gonna, uh, I guess we're just gonna Beast Caller and Scout, right? We could actually, um, no creatures yet for soul cauldron, so. Yeah, you wanna cast Beast Caller for sure, so I'll just play Beast Caller. Play Beast Caller. We need our get our counter, play scout. So we'll get our, we'll get our explorer on here. Ideally, we'll mill over some sort of good. Uh, you know, thrill stick would be ideal, but pump some things up. And we're going to hit a land. Sure, so I should go land soul cauldron. It's fine. So you go land, and now we're gonna attack with a whole bunch. This is actually like they're like, letting a lot of damage through here. Honestly, get to swing with the the farm here. Probably should play the cauldron first, I guess, in case they have a removal spell here, because then I could have uh, exiled the thing that they remove, but. One thing they can really kill is this, right? Because they have only one mana up, so... Let's see what happens here. If we're racing, we're doing a pretty good job, so... We see a, a Lore Keeper block on the Etchings, which, of course, is not a creature if it dies for the Cauldron, unfortunately, but... Pretty aggressive play, you know, uh, at Monstrous Rage. So we got uh, a Bloxy, and, of course, this, this has Trample as well. So a little Trample action. Boom, boom, boom. And uh, we're going to go to get ourselves another basic. Oh, that is true, actually. Kamado Exiles. Good catch. Uh, so, actually, a little bit of a of dis-synergy here between Kamado and uh, Soul Cauldron. But, you know, I think we're still doing okay here. So, I see Resub. Thanks so much. I also had Tortoise Boy get the unsubs. Thank you. So, we got this Scythe Claw Raptor here. Uh, I think I'm inclined to block, honestly. In case there's some, some sort of, like, stupid, you know, Double Strike, Monstrous Rage, something or other. So far. We have a thousand power in play already. If our things die, we get the cauldron, so. Which does not get cheesed out here, you know? Is a monstrous rage, sure. Twin Inferno for double strike. Alright, call that one. So that's only 14. It actually works out kind of cute, so they can. First strike damage happens. Actually, that doesn't matter, never mind. So. And then we're going to put counters onto, I guess, the. Etchings. And then seven more damage. Am I dead? No giant growth? Whew. Alright. Well, and then we'll just end step uh, Exile Scout. Put a counter here. And a little Ozzle of action. Sure. Cool. No, I, 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 I misclicked. Well, yeah, whatever. It's fine. I just got for more damage. We're, we're good here. That's fine. Game. All right. So pretty good draw. Worked Blouses. out reasonably well. And the dinos go down. All right. Round two. We've got our Ocelot, which is excellent. Uh, Apprentice and Scout. We can keep this. Pwn takes a mulligan. We're going to keep. I almost have to just hold the one drops until after Ocelot. Uh, because we get to go turn to Ocelot, turn three, Beast Crawl or something, and then play something else. We don't really need to land off the, off the scout. Let's see what happens. We'll see what happens here. All right, opponent's also playing scout. And they're they're playing Merfolk and they're playing Cavern of Souls. A big new printing here. Uh, by new, I mean re re reprinting. Uh, and uh, they're uh, they're coming in. All right, so they are full on Merfolking. We've drawn a Thrill Seeker. I think we're going to wait. I'm just going to hold on to this. I just want to have a fourth land now. So turn two, Ozolith, turn three, Beast Caller, Scout. Yeah, I'll just say go. We're going to hold off and we're going to play this, uh, this Ozolith. So take two. Let me get some red here, too. Okay. I feel like I failed as a content creator because I didn't build a Throne of the Grim Captain deck. Uh, I kind of laid it out. It looked really, really, really difficult without changelings and stuff. Maybe in a stork someday for, for freshly brewed, uh, but uh, today is unfortunately not the day for 
for throwing at the Grim Captain. For me, at least. We'll see if our opponent does it. This is a pretty wild card. Uh, you have to craft a dinosaur, a merfolk, a pirate, and a vampire. And if you do, you get this crazy 7-7. Seven, seven. They've already milled over a merfolk and a dinosaur and or a vampire. Obviously, you need to have... Uh, this can't count for both. you got to exile four cards, but... All right, let's draw another copper line gorge. Sure. I mean, we're just going in here. Just beast caller and just scout. I start, we're we're going to apprentice, actually. So this is a spot where we, we want him to get a counter on this. If we draw a land, it kind of sucks. So. All right, so pretty big uh, big pumps here. Of course, the Oswald is pretty powerful. Definitely. Uh, there's a lot of... There's actually now two Cavern of Souls-style lands in Standard. Uh... Unclaimed territory also. So maybe they hit, they hit a merfolk, another another dinosaur. So now they would need to hit a... Uh, they just need a uh, dinosaur vampire merfolk and... Dinosaur merfolk. Up in, in, in a pirate. That's a pirate. They're kind of like getting close on it. They've really, really hit like just all spells of this thing so far. Um... The good news is that the, the Grim Captain doesn't have haste. So uh, it, it doesn't flip. It exiles and then comes back. Uh, so they can't attack with it immediately, which is like really, really important. So, All right, Malcolm Lutz. We got the pretty pretty cool new card here. Some of my sleeper cards in my set review. Another Galta? Jeez. Uh, you missed it. My set reviews on YouTube. Before, check that one out. I go over all the cards for Constructed Limited. Every single card. All in the YouTubes. Here's a Spelunker. And we got uh, a land and a land. So this time they actually hit some lands. So got a 1-1. One, one. We draw a soul cauldron. Oh, it's lightning helix! It's pretty, oh my god! It's pretty gross, right? A little graveyard hate. Um, so they have dinosaur vampire, dinosaur vampire, dinosaur vampire. So we actually can't really stop them right now because they have three dinosaur vampires and then three of our folks. But obviously good to have anyway. And we are um we are going to let's see. And then to craft. So crafting is it's part of the cost. We actually can't really it's sorcery speed though. So if in combat they loot away a pirate, we can exile it before they can do it at sorcery speed. So, uh, play land. We also have Thrill Seeker for probably a big uh, a big shot like next turn. So, let's go uh, Scout. Oh, they can craft the pirate and play. Oh, correct. Right. Because you can craft from the battlefield too. Uh, that being said, I'm pretty sure we just kill them, honestly, over the next uh, two turns. I'll see what happens, but... Right, so they're going to also the cauldron can target whatever they target this. So we need a land. Unfortunately, wanted we really wanted to hit a to hit a non-land there to get the pump. That's fine. Uh, we're gonna play our soul cauldron, and we have the fling on the thrill seeker also. So we can thrill seeker fling and then cauldron it and then fling again, just kill them, uh, which is kind of gas because we have the the, the kind of modular here. You can fling modular fling again. It's very very powerful. Um, so we're gonna attack both of these. And Menace Trample Lifelink Hexproof. So they can craft next turn. They can do it. Uh, we are going to exile a Galta. And let's put the counter here. So four damage gets through. Alright. I mean, they can do it. I, I think we just killed them next turn, though. So they mill over two more cards. They mill over a Scout and another Throne. All right. We're about to see it. I'll give him the old drum roll. I'll give him the old drum roll. We're all here to have fun, right? Who's in charge? Me or the devil? What do you think? Is there going to be a really cool animation for this? Is it going to, like... Pop out of the cauldron. Yeah, I'm a big crazy skeleton thing. What do you think? All right, crafting it. No, no cool animation. All right, so they have the Grim Captain, which is a 7 7 menace trample lifelink hexproof. Whenever it attacks, each opponent sacks a non land permanent. Then they can put one of the cards they used to craft this uh attacking into play so they get to put a galta in so they get to attack for, for 13 now i have thrill seeker and let's see i have thrill seeker i sack the seeker itself to put it under the cauldron i think we're actually might be in trouble here i think we uh they gained seven 
Right, play Thrill Seeker. I think we're like a mana short of being able to really make some moves here. Uh, put the counters here. Actually, well, maybe, maybe, maybe they're dead, actually. No, because I can't sack the Thrill Seeker also. Uh, if I had one more mana, I could sack the, sack, 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 the, sack the Thrill Seeker, eat it, and then sack this and this. But I only have enough to... Uh, so this is 2, this is 11. Sack this, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, we're actually one short. Um, now, I can't attack. And then the thing that gets unblocked. Yeah, that actually works. Um... So three, that's four, and nine. I still count 14. Oh, 10. Oh, oh yeah, I think I got it. I got it. Oh, let's see. Your counters go here. All right, okay, so hold on. Four, and then this is 10. No, it's still only 14. Um, shit. Well, uh, my clock is going, so. All right, and then I think we just attack with. So if they attack, they block. They would just die. They block here. Um, I attack. I, I can just like Arcbound, Ravager, Modular. Then they block. They have Lifelink. I'm sorry, folks. It's too early in the show. I'd have to do as much thinking. Um, I screwed up, I think. Uh, all right. If I attack with both, I could have sacked whatever they want that I don't block. I modular too. Yeah, I screwed up. I should fight. 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 Welcome to Andy Bruce. If I attack with everything, they're dead. Uh, because they block this and then I modular to this after after damage. Yeah, I just punted. So, this is this is a flying. This is not as a menace. All right. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I I I could have killed them here. Now they get to attack me with the... This thing is Menace, Trample, Lifelink, Hexproof. Yeah. Um, I think... We take... This here's the... Sorry, that's not land permanent. Hold on. Hold on. Now they die. Ha! Man, what a shit show. Um, waka, waka. I just put the counters in the apprentice and now I just kill them. All right, I, I forgot about the uh, the sack part too. Well, folks, um, that's uh, that's how it works sometimes, you know. Um, exile this thing. So actually, we were fine anyway because of the because of the sack. So I get to put the counter here and do this. Okay, so I could have killed them on my turn, but we were also safe here. So we asked backwards our way into a win. And uh, we'll take it to another. <laughs> Dan's trying to short me in chatter. He says two times world competitor. Uh, three time world competitor. I played in the World Championship in 2006. Thank you very much. All right, so um, all right, we're going to keep this uh, this hand here. Kind of a lame little wormlet here with no artifacts in sight. That's okay. Chat's got it all wrong, of course, as always, trying to find lethal. Chat lethal everywhere. This is a real chat lethal deck. Um, also, I also punted. I don't know. Maybe I punted. Oh, who knows? Whatever. I'm going to freaking play my cards. I'm going to play the game, and you're going to watch them. We're going to do what we can do. So, we just scout here, I guess. Um, no artifact for Wormlet yet. Um, Beast Caller's pretty good. Yeah, we won the game. Hashtag scoreboard. All right, so play Lanch. play Beast Caller. So we just don't have like a, a beatdown draw here. There's nothing, nothing fancy about this draw. No fling stuff. No cauldrons. We're just gonna play a Beast Caller and play a one drop attack. So we got Intrepid Paleontologist. I said that one right? Uh, all right, we just go Beast Caller. Yeah, all right, Beast Caller Scout, I guess, right? Pump it up. Pump it up. Scout sees a soul cauldron. 
Uh, yeah, let's keep that. And let's just act for a bunch. And now we got Cauldron Wormlet next turn, probably in the in the probably in a, a different order. All right, your turn. So more dinosaurs probably. Everyone's on the dinosaur train, you know. Cavern Souls dinosaur. Yeah, we got the idea. Here's a pug pugnacious hammer skull. So six six on defense, pretty big. Not big enough though, honestly. We're gonna have a bunch of a uh, bunch of power next turn thanks to the wormlet and pumping these things up and stuff. Let's see what happens. We'll see what happens. You hey, folks, tuning in, folks. Welcome. My name is Jim, Pro Magic player, if you can believe it, uh, and full time content creator. And uh, this is brew number one of ten. Ten new brews. If you're tuning in now, you picked a great spot. Hit that follow button on Twitch. Watching on YouTube again. Hit the like button. Support the content. If you enjoy, enjoy ten new brews, enjoy what I do. Um, it happens because of you. So please take the half second, like the video, leave a comment if you can, sub the channel. Apparently when I say that now, there's like a new feature on YouTube where it'll like light up the button. So if that happens, let me know in the comments, all right? Because I, it's like a thing that happens automatically, I think. I don't know exactly, but what is going on? They're thinking about doing the uh, the dinosaur shock. Everybody do the dinosaur. Oh, we're gonna bushwhack. Uh, sure. You just modular over to the beast caller. Um, yeah. It's having these rolls two twos. So five five. Now I get to go wormlet and cauldron. So now I have a seven seven attacker, which is pretty powerful. And get a counter here. Gain some life. I have a creature in the graveyard, which is great. I might just attack all here, honestly. See if they block a scout. I just get to pump and attack for a bunch of things and flame kill the next turn, so. Long Carlos, new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome. Yeah, I just stuck with everything. Just send it. Okay, put a counter on, uh. I guess the beast caller, right? Alright, so you're at, uh, you're at three. And I have a. I got the old Thrill Seeker in hand. I don't have a mana yet, I guess, but I also have to have a huge beast caller, too, so. A lot of fun decks to play today. We got a lot of cascading to do. I knew Bloodberry Elves in like two or three of my decks. Pretty cool. Alright. Firstborn of Gildamesh. Um, You're saying it wrong. It's Leviosa. Alright, so we draw... Uh, here's Thrill Seeker. Um, obviously no... Uh, no extra mana for the fling kill. We can... Thrill Seeker onto the Scout. Just aggro both, I guess. They have to block both. They just, they just have to block and eat this, so... I guess we just, like... Yeah, I guess we just Thrill Seeker, right? Yeah, whatever. And if they, if they if they kill the Seeker, we should have the Cauldron anyway, so... Play Seeker. Pumps Peace Caller. Uh, put the counters here. That makes it a 5-5. Five, five. I'm sorry, 4-4. Four, four. It'd be 5 with the Cauldron. They can just go big on this thing, right? Sure, whatever. So, just back for 10. They chump block. No trample. Eh, just chill. Your turn. A ma'am! Reset up, thanks so much. Here's a lower keeper. One of the problems that the, uh, the old dinosaur decks had was they couldn't really deal with a, uh, a big idiot, you know, not always there would be a big creature in these colors, so alright, so we got that. And we just kill them. And then do one damage here. Eat it with the cauldron. Go num num. Take that. Yeah, cauldron bust will seeker is still pretty busted. And how about we go face? Oh, there we go. Alright. All right, so, all right, Murix, Sentinel, Wormlet, this is a great draw. We got Wormlet into Ozolith into Sentinel. I'm not gonna lie, uh, a huge fan of this card. Sentinel of the Nameless City. Be able to make material every single turn on a good rate is phenomenal, so. All right, so we get to go land, Ozolith. Fortunately, uh, oh, this, 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 this does work. Beast Caller doesn't work with this, but. Attack versus three, the little Wormy. Next turn we get to go land, Sentinel. Watching it. Alright. Well, play land. Here's a sentinel. 
This makes a map token and a 5 5 worm. They're pounding away here. Man, I do not love the art of this map token. Whoa! Build your own Sarah Angel. All right. Um, we got Thrill Seeker, uh, Scout, Apprentice. You could also just map here and like pump the Sentinel up and uh, ideally not hit a land. Let's try that. So let's go. Let's start here and then we'll just cast the, the Scout and the Apprentice. Maybe we actually play Scout first because I want to try and get a counter on this. So Scout, Scouts, when you explore, you can sort of like, you can sort of explore to pseudo scry and set up your next explore. So let's actually go Scout. And we hit a Kamano. I don't really want to draw that, but I really want to hit uh, a non-land off this map. So we're going to leave it there. And then we're going to explore here. And now we're going to bin it. I have a 5-6. Play the Apprentice. This will grow the Wormlet. And attack for lethal. It's turn 4. First deck broke it. It's already broken. What can we do? Alright, so they draw they draw a card and they get the cascade here too, right? This is a uh when it dies, discover three. Alright. What do they got? Another watcher? That's pretty cool. Alright, draw a card. So Down to seven. Board's pretty uh pretty gassed up. We got a steel seraph. Okay, kinda cool. Do a little lifelink, I guess, and dink in for one. We draw a land for Thrill Seeker. Of course we can! Oh, it's Lightning Helix! Oh my god! And uh, back it up onto... I think it's Wormwood just kills them, right? So sure. All right, and then uh, we'll attack for good measure. Really pump it up. Really pump it up. One lethal Wormlet. They got upstairs in chat, please. Upstairs! Damn, we are flying. We are flying today. All right, going for a perfect sweep here with our first deck. Ooh, boy. Hands pretty good. Apprentice, Wormlet, and keep this. Um, probably go Wormy first, I guess. Cursed it. Nah. Hidden Necropolis. We have got some caves here. They have a cave troll. Uh, we're going to just Wormlet. Wormlet, Beast Caller, hopefully Apprentice, and something else. Fan, that, that's for Bon Semitic. Tenderbirds are all standard, yep. Alright, so we're just gonna attack and then Beast Caller? Sure. We got Swamp and a Cave. So these are the new uh, Cave Lands. Sack them to Cascade for four. Creature Origin Story? Sure. Um. Sarah just really liked animals. She found them, she went to school, she just really felt like she connected with the, the pet hamster in the classroom and the bunny she'd see on her walk to school. Little did she know, she would end up graduating from Query and Academy to be a beast caller and graduate from the class hamster to her freaking large bear. <laughs> also, candy was her downfall. All right, so... Pretty iffy draw here, honestly. Uh, they play a Drought. Draw a card as a life. We've drawn a lot of lands here. We can Thrill Seeker, I guess, but it's like kind of bad, honestly, because we're going to go uh, big on the Wormlet. Just got a Thrill Seeker itself, I think, because um, the Wormlet will grow otherwise. If I put all my eggs in one basket here, it's kind of crappy for us, so. Um, yeah, I'll just do this. Attack for one. Pretty, pretty rough draw here. Might be, uh, might have might, might, uh, jinxed the old 5-0. I should play Mirror because that's not, but uh, took a point for no reason. Kerm, reset, thanks so much. Always, hashtag, always like the YouTube videos. Aww. My feelings, no! All right, so we got blown either way. All right, so we finally have an opponent who decided to bring some removal spells to the table, and uh, they they have a Volatile Vault. We draw Kamano. All right, so let's just play Apprentice. We have Mirex plus Wormwood, which is kind of cool. Alright, so attack for two. They have a they have a vault for my Mirex, but like 
they lose a land and get a treasure, which is fine, I think. Come on. Uh. So there you go. Uh, we have this Besaju, I guess. Not a lot going on here, honestly. We're a little, you know, six lands and not a lot of gas, so we'll see what happens, but... We got some work to do, for sure. Wow. Alright, Besiege the Mirror off the, the draft, and, uh... They get to tutor and play a four drop. What killed the dinosaurs? Daddy's age. Uh, uh, roaming throne. Okay. They're gonna name Phyrexian. So, if a triggered ability of a Phyrexian would trigger, it triggers twice, and it's got Ward two. All right, figure to be shouldered honestly, but sure, it's fine, I guess. We draw a Sentinel of the Nameless City. That's kind of gas. So we have a Spasaju. It says I have Ward Two. I feel like we should probably just kill this, but we lose the value on Kamano. Um, if I play this, it costs four. To, yeah, it costs four to kill this. I mean, what what Phyrexian? I guess they could have like yeah, they have, they have like the five mana Phyrexian. We can get they can get double edict triggers. What other Phyrexian triggers are there? I guess if they have a Phyrex, uh, shielder, it also will draw, will gain, lose stuff. I could not kill it and see what they're doing. That's true. We can do that. All right, let's let's see what they're doing. I agree. In the spirit of uh, in the spirit of uh, of this of the early access season, we'll, we'll let them cook, and then uh, we're just gonna explore on the apprentice. I think. Let's explore here. So, whiskey's on that, and uh, we'll just say, yeah. It, it, it's arguable what's better right now, anyway, because obviously, like, playing the thing, getting a thing, getting a counter, putting a thing is all huge. So, all right, they have shield. Okay, sure. So, here's shield, and a hopeless nightmare. Hopeless nightmare is not a Phyrexian, so discard the thing. So, uh, upkeep, we're going to kill the roaming throne to not take two triggers off of the shield. Um, let's target this. I am sure. Alright, so that's gone. And then, let's see here. So they get a land. They have three cards left. Obviously, they have a shoulder in play, which is kind of tough. Um, our deck is 100% linear. Our only removal spell is Israel Seeker. So, uh, we draw. I guess the cards aren't on the thing yet, right? Yeah, because the new set. So, uh, let's draw Beast Caller. Take two. Alright, so... Don't really have any attacks here, unfortunately. Just gotta say go. This thing flips. They're 13. Yeah. Stinks a little bit, but just no attacks here. But they're safe, so just say go. Their Shelly comes in. I'll block with the Apprentice. So, four cards still in hand. They do have these Necropoli to, uh, to Cascade, potentially. So we're like... You know, we're in, we're in okay shape right now. Uh, save it a, uh, Soul Cauldron would be ideal. They're gonna reset it up again. Scry 2, shuffle, love it. Uh, get another throne. They're doing it again, folks! So now I've got double triggers on the dollar for Shieldred. Alright, so we untap, we draw and take four. We draw a land. Uh, Beast Caller. Yeah, it's not really... I mean, like, the Mirix can make this Wormlet grow a little bit. We're still, like, not ahead of the... Just too big. Um, yeah. This is gonna... Uh, obviously, f double Shieldred is pretty damn gross. Um, man, this land came in untapped, too. Man, tough. Yeah, so... Tough, uh... Tough game here a little bit. Um, I was going to gain four here, too. This is tough. Um, you draw a Thrill Seeker. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, boy. Where are they? Batman. Uh, I don't have any cards in my hands. Sure. So, if it attacks, I discard. If I can't, they draw. Sure. We draw another land. Um... Somebody's playing a prank on me. All right. Yeah. What's up, Jesse? Is that Jesse from MTG Arena? If it is, 
we're gonna have to have a little a little hype on that if it is you it is holy shit if you think Jesse from MTG Arena is cool, give me a hell yeah. Give me what I want. Jesse is awesome making this event happen. Um, I couldn't tell you about the amount of things happening behind the scenes to make this event happen um, in Discord. Uh, but let's see it. Round of applause, Jesse. Give me a hell yeah, folks. All right? This game, unfortunately, no hell yes, but um, we're trying. So we got a pump on this. We're going to die. Yeah, we're just dead, I think. Uh, yeah, we're just dead. Uh, no good attacks, really. Yeah, we got nothing. I mean, we can gain a life. We take four, and then four. Yeah, we're just dead. All right, so I'll let, let, let them do it, I guess. But all right, sorry, I I jinx the I jinx the five zero. It's my fault. Yo, draw eight lands or whatever, nine lands actually, or eight lands. They're gonna they're gonna cascade though, uh, into a hopeless nightmare. Sure. Is that a little rainbow? Is that new? All right, down to five. Yeah, my bad. I called the shutout. Shouldn't have done that. So I'll take four and one to this deck, though. I might start off ten bruises with a four and one. So make a thing, gain a life, go to two. We just die in our uh, our would have died to one shoulder, but they actually have two. So all right, they got us. All right, GG. <sighs> Only four. That's okay though. Great start to uh to show. All right, so four one with our first deck here to boldly go. Ten new brews, nine brews to go. Not gonna lie, folks. Uh, you know we almost played Soul Cauldron plus Thrill Seeker at Worlds. A really potent combination of cards. Uh, Sentinel was great. Uh, Scout was was fine. Scout was pretty good. Never drew Swanker, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, try if there's if you can find the right Soul Cauldron Thrill Seeker deck in Standard, I think you've got a real nasty deck on your hands. So. Pretty cool one here. And again, Sentinel was, that was excellent. Really, really cool. So we got nine more brews to do, but YouTube folks love you. Like, comment, subscribe. Leave a comment, please. Let me what you think or whatever, and I'll see you in the next one. These are going to go up on YouTube uh, one a day for the next 10 days, all right? So look out for all of them. For all you stream folks, we're live right here, right now. Let's go. Uh...